They said that you killed someone. Perhaps I did. If even my chieftain accepts it, it must be so. That's not the way it works for me. Wanna tell me your story? I did fight with the Karja Hunter to settle a challenge. That much is true. He was strong and damn quick. We traded punches. Good punches. Hard punches. And the next thing I remember... Gray morning light and the Karja beside me with his head broken open. But the blow was not by my hand. So everyone knows you started the fight with this man? Of course. For honor, I'll fight anyone. If, if I wasn't bound, I'd fight to prove myself right now! I don't think that would help you. This is what I am. Each runner in the Warwick has a gift. I brawl. None can take a punch, a fall better than I can. Until this time, I was too drunk. We were grappling. He clapped my ears. I took one last swing as I went down, but not a killing blow. It can't have been. Isn't your Warak supposed to support you? At least give you the benefit of the doubt? When our Warak had cause to quarrel, I was a solution. To fight for its honor and win, they'd call on me. Or, when they needed someone to lose, for appearances, I could do that too. Now an Outlander is murdered without honor, all eyes are on me. I have become my Warak's shame. They don't want an incident with the Karja, so you take the fall. That's what I do best. And for your punishment, they'll exile you from the Warwick? From warmth. March me up the slopes of the Cloud Shear, leave me stripped and exposed. That's awful. If I survive, the land has absolved me. That's the law. It must be accepted. It's still awful. I'm not stupid. I don't like my chances either. I can't fight a mountain. I'll be honest. You haven't got a good defense, Inatut. I've heard that one before. Where did the fight happen? A clearing, just outside the Karja Outlanders camp. You should talk to them. They wouldn't hear me out. They say no one else could have been there, other than me and the dead man. The shaman consulted the signs in the snow and agreed. I'll see what I can find out. And I'll be back. I'll be here. What else am I gonna do? Until the horn gives a call from my exile. Let's see what this blue gleam is worth. Huntress. What business do you have with us? I was asked to look into the murder of a Karja hunter. What happened? It's plain as day. A drunk Banuk thug picked a fight with Ruas, struck him down from behind and stole his headdress. The accused man says that he didn't do it. You're not going to get anything useful out of the Banuk, whether they talk to you or don't. They gather up like cloaks in a chill wind every time a hunter dies out here. Won't even hand Ruas's killer over for a proper trial. A proper trial? to fill his mouth with salt. 
and hold him up for the sun to consider over days. If it is Clement, it may only take his sight, or his wits. So other Karja hunters have died in these lands before. Three, maybe four in the last few seasons. That's no surprise. This place punishes even the prepared, and many young nobles don't prepare. But usually the snow covers everything, and the bodies are never found. No thanks to the Banuk. Do you think they're involved? No. If it's not about their tribe, they don't want to get involved. In these outlands, even the sun cannot thaw all it touches. Doesn't sound like you trust the Banuk much. They're not without their reasons to keep apart from us. Ten years of reasons. Oh, it's the war. The war is over. We made amends, but no. The land never forgets. Snow and ice keep memory, they say. It takes time for scars to heal. You think I don't know that? I still bear the lashes for refusing one of the Mad King's sun priests. I was your age then. Uh, times of shadow. Times of shadow. Where did you find Ruas's body? There's no hunt, girl. Nothing to pick up. Humor me. I'm a good tracker. Down the rise to the west, there's a clearing. But a grazer herd couldn't have trampled it better. And if that barbarian gives up Ruas's headdress before they cast him out, let me know. It's valuable. through the trees. Good view of the Karja camp and the clearing. this over.
Someone's here! Not Banook. Then she won't be missed. Contact! Someone's here! We're under attack! I wasn't expecting that. I see something.
You've been killing Karja. And for what? Revenge for the war? Who gets to declare that one tribe no longer hates another? I'll tell you. Not the ones who fought. Not the ones whose songs are silenced. But my kin. For what you did, another Banuk has been sentenced to certain death. What about his song? That's why you followed us. For that punch-drunk idiot in it. Fate is sharp today. They've already let him out to face his exile. Let's see who the cold claims first. I need to go after Inatut. But I should find some evidence first. This Karja gear's not warm, but if Inatut's naked on a snowfield, he'll take what he can. Okay, time to get moving. <laughs> <laughs> 